so in this video lecture we will be designing a mix uh, grade for M40 but this time we will be using a cementitious filler of GGBS ground granulated blast furnace slag and uh, let us see what changes we have to make in the previous mix design we had used fly ash so this design will be on the similar basis on the similar principles just a little bit different the type of cement given is 43 grade OPC specific gravity 3.5 maximum cement content is uh, uh, given from this clause of IS456 side conditions exposure is severe workability is again uh, 120 mm because uh, the method of pacing that we are using is pumping degree of supervision on site is good admixture the mineral admixture that we will be using is GGBS and this time it's 40 percent of the total cementitious content so 40 percent we will be substituting uh, using GGBS specific gravity of this is 3 chemical admixture is a super plasticizer of 1% of the total cementitious content specific gravity of admixture is 1.145 pozzolanic material is not there and specific gravity of pozzolan again not required coming on to aggregates so uh, the specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.74 and that of fine aggregate is 2.65 Water absorption is there for coarse aggregate is 0.5%, for fine aggregates it's 1%. Moisture content is not there. Type of aggregate, crushed angular aggregate and maximum normal size 20 mm. The fine aggregates are from zone 2. Okay. So let us start with the first step that is finding the target mean strength F dash CK and that is given from clause 4.2 of IS10262-2019 so from these two we have to uh, go uh, select the higher one so FCK is 40 plus 1.65 times S is taken from table 2 or if you have a trial data with you of at least 20 or 30 or more than that then from there you can find the standard deviation for your particular batch so uh, you will be uh, having S as 5 so it comes out to be 48.25 megapascal and X the table 1 uh, for, of IS 10262 for M40 it is 6.5 so 40 plus 6.5 is 46.5 the greater of these two 48.25 that will be your target mean strength this is step 1 step 2 is approximate air content so it depends on the maximum nominal size of aggregates again the nom nominal size of aggregate is 20 so for 20 we have 1% so this is 1% of total volume of concrete will be your approximate air content and that is for 20 mm size aggregates step 3 selection of water cementitious ratio so our uh, cement is OPC 43 so it means that is curve 2 curve 1 is for 33 grade curve 3 is for 53 and above so uh, for using this curve 2 and uh, target mean strength of 48.25 I guess we get our water cementitious ratio as 0.36 and we need to ascertain that this is less than the maximum free water cement ratio for severe condition we have for reinforced concrete we have the maximum free water cement ratio as 0.45 so this is definitely less than that so it's okay this was step 3 moving on to step 4 selection of water content selection of water content again depends on uh, the nominal size of aggregate and it is given in clause 5.3 so the nominal size of aggregate is 20 and for that the water content is 186 but this water content that you get in this table 4 uh, it is given in clause 5.3 that this water content is for a slump of 50 mm okay but the slump that we are using on our site is 120 mm so for 120 mm 186 kg is not the correct uh, water content we have to change it and the formula how we sh how we should change it that also is given in the same clause so i've converted it into a formula that is a wcx where x is the 
slump for which we need to find water content so here it will be 120 is equal to water content at 50 plus x minus 50 upon 25 into 3 by 100 into water content at 50 okay so all of this um, basically i had taken a very detailed video so if you have not uh, seen that video kindly check it it is uh, i think uh, lecture number 14 and i'll also give that uh, link in the description so do check the lecture number 14 it will give you all the detailed explanation of all these steps so using this 120 mm in the formula wc at 120 is 186 that is the water content at 50 mm slump plus 120 minus 50 upon 25 into 3 by 100 or 3 percent of 186 it gives you 201.624 kg this is per meter cube of course it means for for one meter cube of concrete this much water this much kg of water will be required fine one more thing that is given in clause 5.3 is relating to the water reducing admixtures so for water reducing admixtures you have to reduce this water content by 5 to 10 percent and if you are using super plasticizer you have to reduce it by 20 to 30 percent so we are using a super plasticizer and uh, one percent we are using and based on the trials that is uh, which is conducted using that super uh, super plasticizer on site it is seen that around 23 percent of water is reduced again this will depend on every brand of super plasticizer and uh, or uh, what what uh, specifications of super plasticizer we are ordering on site so this test has to be always done that how much reduction of water content is done by how much percent of super plasticizer okay okay so reducing this by 23 percent so multiplied by 0 0.77 it will give me 155.25048 i'll round it to 156 kg now this is the water content at 120 mm slump step 5 is calculation of cementitious content so we have water content we have what is cementitious ratio so we can find cementitious content which is water content upon water cementitious ratio and this has to be greater than minimum cementitious content which is specified in table 5 of IS 456-2000 so cementitious content comes out to be 433.33 which is 434 kg per meter cube and table 5 of IS 456 this is that table although it says it gives you the minimum cement content that is what is specified here but it is actually the cementitious content and not the only cement content okay so the difference of cement and cementitious I have explained in the lecture 14 so kindly do watch that this is greater than 320 kg so how did this 320 kg come the exposure is severe for our side and for reinforced concrete the minimum cement content that they have given is 320 kg per meter cube so this is definitely greater than 320 so it's fine next we are using ggbs or we are using a filler material this clause is applicable 5.4.1 but in this clause more emphasis is given on fly ash and it is also said along with that that if you are using ggbs or silica fume you may the content may be uh, increased so okay so increase in cementitious material content may be warranted and that decision of increase in cementitious material content is based on experience and trials so here when we are using ggbs of 40 percent based on the experience uh, or your site experience or uh, based on uh, certain tests that you do in the lab you may increase the cementitious content but for this numerical i will not increase the cementitious content and i will keep it same so i will directly find ggbs which is 40 percent of my cementitious content so it is 173.6 i will round it to 174 kg per meter cube and if out of cementitious content 174 is ggbs then the remaining will be cement so cement content is 434 minus 174 which is 260 kg per meter cube now this cement content has to be checked for the maximum cement content which is given in IS 
uh, IS456. So this is the clause of IS456 8.2.4.2 where it is saying that cement content not including fly ash and GGBS in excess of 450 kg per meter cube should not be used unless special consider consideration has been provided. So this should not be greater than 450 kg per meter cube and which is evident from this so it we are correct next step 6 is proportion of volume of coarse aggregate and fine aggregates this is from clause 5.5 5 of IS 10262 2019 and uh, in lecture 14 I have already told how the nominal maximum size of aggregate is determined based on based on the table that is given in IS 383 2016 similarly I explained the zones also now the zone that we are using is zone 2 of fine aggregates so for maximum size of aggregate of 20 and zone 2 we have 0.62 as the volume of course aggregate per unit volume of total aggregates but this thing is given for a water cementitious material ratio of 0.5 but our water cementitious material ratio is not 0.5 it's 0.36 so in the same clause of 5.5 uh, they have told that what you need to do if water cementitious material ratio is not 0.5 and uh, they have given a text i have converted that text into uh, this formula so this is volume of coarse aggregate at a certain water cementitious ratio is equal to volume of coarse aggregate at 0.5 WC ratio plus 0.5 minus W upon 0 0.05 into 0.01. So at 0.36, it is 0.62 plus 0.5 minus 0.36 upon 0 0.05 into 0.01, which gives me 0.648. So the total volume of course aggregate currently what we are getting is 64.8 percent of the total uh, total aggregate volumes and the remaining would be fine but we have this clause of 5.5.2 which is for pumpable concrete and since according to our side conditions the method of placing that we are using is pumping so it may be desirable to reduce the estimated coarse aggregate content by 10 or up to 10 percent and this is done so that there is no congestion of steel because coarse aggregate would be difficult to pass through steel Therefore, uh, we need to reduce this by 10% since we are using a pump as a method of placing. So I multiply this by 0.9 and what I'll get is 0.5832. So 58.32% of the total aggregate volume is your coarse aggregates. And then the remaining will be fine aggregates. So it is 1 minus 0.5832 which is 0.4168. That's it. So we have found the volume of course aggregate and fine aggregates. Now it is time for proportioning and here we need to remember the specific gravities. So for cement it is 3.15, for GGBS 3, plasticizer 1.145, course aggregate 2.74, fine aggregate 2.65. We always design or we always uh, proportionate our mix for 1 meter cube of volume of concrete so volume of entrapped air is uh, what we saw it was 1% of total volume so 1% of 1 is 0 0.01 meter cube volume of water now mass of water that we got was 156 kg specific gravity is 1 volume will be 156 by 1 into 1000 which is 0.156 meter cube volume of cement 260 kg was uh, the cement content that we got specific gravity of cement is 3.15 volume will be 0 0.0825 meter cube volume of ggbs is 174 kg mass is 174 kg sorry specific gravity is 3 volume will be 174 by 3000 which is 0.058 meter cube now chemical admixture that is our super plasticizer that is 1% of the total cementitious content cementitious content means these two so the mass of uh, mass of super plasticizer will be 1% of 
260 plus 174 which is 4.34 kg specific gravity is 1.145 so volume will be 4.34 upon 1.145 into 1000 which is 0 0.00379 meter cube once we get all these volumes the only thing remaining is total volume of aggregates which is f and it is 1 minus this a b c d and e so it comes out to be 0 0.68971 meter cube this is the total volume of aggregate and if you remember just a slide ago we found out the percentage of coarse aggregate from the total volume and percentage of fine aggregate from the total volume so total volume i will write here percentage of coarse aggregate is 0.5832 or 58.32 percent specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.74 so mass of aggregate here we are finding mass not volume okay so this much is the volume of coarse aggregate this is your density so volume into density is going to give you mass and don't worry about this uh, unit okay although it is a, a unit of density but this is this what it means is 1102 kg per 1 meter cube of concrete that way next again 0 0.68971 this is the total volume 41.68 percent is fine aggregate specific gravity is 2.65 so this is your volume of fine aggregate this is your density of fine aggregate and this is your mass which is 762 kg per 1 meter cube of concrete after finding these rough proportions we will write them down now these mass that we have found out they are for SSD condition coarse aggregate saturated surface dry condition but uh, our coarse aggregate are not uh, a coarse aggregate and fine aggregate they are not saturated surface dry and i told you what this saturated surface dry means uh, it means that our coarse aggregates are saturated and it cannot take more water or the water absorption is not present that is what ssd means and surface dry means that it does not even have moisture over it okay but that is not the case with us we do have a moisture sorry we do have water absorption in both of them so for that we need to do adjustment in mix correct so here this formula for fine aggregate and coarse aggregate the formula is similar just the numerator is changed in this we have percentage water absorption as well as percentage moisture content percentage water absorption will give you uh, basically that how much water your fine aggregates are taking from the original water content that we are supplying to our concrete therefore that much water you will have to add more and percentage moisture content will basically tell you that how much water your aggregates are already having in uh, excess to water content so that much water we have to re remove okay so whatever mass you get from here that has to be subtracted from the ssd condition mass so you will get extra water required or extra water needed to be subtracted in either case this formula holds true same way for coarse aggregate as well so 0.5 percent is water absorption of coarse aggregate one percent is for fine aggregate moisture content is not there so mass of fine aggregate in ssd condition was 762 upon 1 plus 1 percent this is that 1 percent so 1 by 100 minus 0 by 100 this is moisture content so it comes out to be 754.45 i'll round it to 755 kg per meter cube so extra water required for fine aggregate to simulate a ssd condition is 762 minus 755 which is 7 kg per meter cube let us find for coarse aggregate so for coarse aggregate 1102 is the mass in ssd condition upon 1 plus 0.5 upon 100 minus 0 by 100 it is 1096.52 which we rounded to 1097 kg per meter cube extra water required will be 1102 minus 1097 which is 5 kg per meter cube so in both the conditions we are requiring extra water to be added 
if this formula gives you a negative answer it means that that much water has to be removed from our water content and if it is giving a positive answer it means that much water we have to add so the total water requirement is uh, water requirement plus a plus b so it is 156 plus 7 plus 5 which is 168 kg per meter cube finally we write our revised quantities so cement is 260 water is 168 this is what was revised water cementitious ratio is 0.36 GGBS 174, super plastic 4.34 kg per meter cube, coarse aggregate 1097, this is what is revised and fine aggregate 755 from these two, okay, the revised quantities. This is your trial mix 1, trial 1, In the, using these proportions you will design a concrete and you will check whether you are getting the required workability and if there is a segregation or not if it is not uh, adhering to those required or prescribed details then we will go for trial 2 in which you will be altering this water content so from 168 kg you may go up or you may go down depending on how you are getting the results in trial 1 then you will check again the workability and everything and even if it is not satisfying then we will go for 3 and 4 trial 3 and 4 in which you will be seeing uh, you will be changing the water cementitious ratio by plus minus 10 percent and then again you will be checking whether you are getting the correct workability or not okay so this was it for today's lecture in the next lecture we'll be designing a high strength concrete of m70 grade till then take care thank you